the inverter uh, engine. We're going to go down to this little part right here, and now uh, you can see the old cooling control valve. Old valve. This is the electrical co connector. That circle I was talking about that you would notice. Uh, yeah, this circle, I guess you can't really see. It's behind there. Anyway, there's the top hose. Fourth lint control valve right there. And then there's uh, two more you can't really see too well from, from above. Anyway, it's mounted to the car with really just two bolts. One's right there. It looks like a 10 millimeter. I believe it's 10 millimeter. Uh, and I do not know what that one is, but it's a little bit bigger than a 10 millimeter. Oh. We'll just do the coolant drain while you're at it. I've also, I've also removed the engine undercover, I believe they call it, the left hand side, driver's side. Uh, and that is the thermos. That's the thermos pump or heat storage tank, whatever they want to call it. And then this is the coolant valve from below. And there is the mount, the bottom mounting uh, bolt, which is 10 millimeters. It's the gold one. Let's see if I can point to it. So it's right there. Look at the finger, points to it, and then put a little light on it. Voila. So anyway, uh, the thermos from the side. And if you look straight through that way, can you see it? Maybe not. It's the thermos valve drain plug. My plan is to just pop that and drain everything. Anyway, right, I'll show you this. I think the failure is actually obvious now. If you look inside the old one, you can sort of see inside, you see like a little plastic piece, like it's halfway in position. And then if you look at the new one, If you look at the new one, you can see right through it. You can see all the way into a valve. Uh, that, whereas that valve is like halfway. It's like stuck. Which is exactly what the problem code is reporting, is that the valve is stuck. So I guess that's right.